Hello, this is Venetia. Welcome back to Skipping with Jesus. God's channel. This is God's channel. And uh, we have a word from Jesus lat, um, on, <clears throat> excuse me, April 19th of 2024 at 2.53 a.m. Behold me, he says, and um, Holy Spirit, I pray that you'll put your hand upon me. I am an open vessel for you to flow through. Speak through my voice these words that our Lord gave me to scribe for him. I pray that you will anoint them and they go out to those hearts that you've prepared to receive them and that all the glory and honor be given to our Lord, Savior, Master, King, and Friend. I love you, Jesus, and I lift you high. All glory be to you in your precious name. Amen. So behold me, Jesus says, and in Matthew 17 and 5 in the King James Version, God says of his son, Behold a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. And this is what Jesus said for me to scribe. Behold the Lamb of God. I am he who takes away the sins of the world. I am he. Um, the Father sent to redeem the sins of mankind. I came, I lived amongst you, I died, I was buried and resurrected to life in three days. I ascended back to my throne at the right hand of the Father. Behold my glory as the Son of God. I was with my Father at creation, remaining with Him throughout eternity. He gave me all authority over the heavens and earth. Behold the Lion of Judah. I am he whose roar is echoing throughout the universe as if sounding a warning from a so far. My roar sounds throughout the ages, appointing my king, kingship over the nations. Behold the great I am. I am he who was. He is and forever um, and will forever be. I have dominion over every tribe, nation, and people. One day soon they will all bow down and worship me. Behold the God who sees you. I am he who sees all things, knows all things, and creates all things. There is no place you can hide from me that I do not see you. I know the plans the Father has for you. His plans are good and not meant to harm you. Behold, the God who hears all voices, I am he who hears your cries. I see each tear you I see each tear you shed and number them when they fall. Behold, the one who and only God, I am he who walks on the water in the midst of your storms of life. I am your protector, divine physician, provider, and friend. As your protector, I hide you under my wings as a mother hen hides her chicks. As your physician, I bind up your broken heart, heal your disease and illnesses. I am your provider. I supply all your needs according to my riches in heaven. I satisfy your hunger and quench your thirst. As your friend, I walk with you throughout your day. I am with you in your dreams. I am closer than a brother. I will not abandon you, nor will I forsake you. I comfort you in your grief. Rejoice with you in your victorious accomplishments. You bring me great joy when I see you serving the least of these. Behold the bridegroom, I am he who will soon return for my bride. I am returning for a pure and holy bride, a bride redeemed through my blood, a bride awaiting my return, who has her light trimmed and burning brightly. She will be gathered to meet me in the air. I will descend from my throne with the blast of a trumpet on clouds revealing all revealing to all creation my glory. Every tribe, nation, and people will see me as the king of glory, returning for his bride. For I am the king of glory. 
I am the King of kings, the Lord of lords, returning soon with the shouts of praises, with all the heaven rejoice, with all of heaven rejoicing, says he who sits on heaven's throne, the one and only God. In Psalms 33 and 18, in the King James Version, it says, Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. In Jeremiah 32, 27, in the King James Version, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? In Isaiah 65 and 1, in the King James Version, I am salt of that ask not of me. I am found of them that sought me not. I said, Behold me, behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name. Luke 2, 10 through 14 in the King James Version, it says, And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people, for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was the angel, the, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. In Revelations 3 and 11, King James Version, it says, Behold, I come quickly, hold, the fa hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. And in Revelation 3, 20 and 22, in the King James Version, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant a seat with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in this his throne. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith. And I pray if you don't know, if you don't have a relationship with Jesus, that as he's standing at your heart's door, as he spoke to us in Revelation 3 and 20 and 20 through 22, I pray that you will open the door and invite him in because he will come in and sup with you and do life with you. Will you pray with me if you haven't received him as Lord of your life? This is the prayer that will ex you can pray and, and um, invite him in. Dear Lord, I pray that... Um, I ask you to come into my life. Forgive me of my sins. Do life with me. I'm tired of doing this life on my own. I pray you forgive me of my sins and I invite you in and I, um, I desire to serve you the rest of my life. I, I want to love you and have you abide in me as I abide in you. I love you and I praise you and I thank you for your forgiving grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you've prayed that prayer, I would ask you to get a Bible and start reading and um, the Holy Spirit will start um, speaking to you through the word. And also, if you're not, a, um, if, to find a community of um, in a local church or a church, a, a house, that has a, um, has a community of believers that do, does um, church in their homes. Find a community and plug in and do life with God's body. Now, I'm gonna ask you, if you haven't subscribed, if you would um, please subscribe to this day channel 
and it's God's channel and we are a tribe doing life together for Him, serving Him, encouraging each other, and um, walking down this uncharted pathway together as we do, um, as we serve Him. And uh, I don't do this often, but I'm gonna start. If you want to know my redemption story, it's in this book. And a lot of times I refer to things um, that I, believe that you already know about me and I know that um, that um, that's not the case because we have new viewers coming on all the time and I just want to let you know you can find my book on Amazon this is my redemption story the title of this book came from an encounter I had after my daughter's death at a swing set and uh, in a child's playground and um, I my uh, my calling is to um, uproot and tear down generational curses. It's uh, a healing that I came from, uh, came through with the Holy Spirit's help, uh, healing from trauma and um, generational curse on my on my bloodline. So um, it, it, I, it, it was me God chose to take the stand and I said yes. And I drew the line in the sand and said, no more Satan, it ends with me. And I can say that my grandchildren are growing up free from um, the, the, the curse and the cycles that were um, in my bloodline um, because of God's grace and his mercy of, um, of transforming me and, and giving me a new life in him, my grandkids now can walk in the freedom of um of his light and um anyway i love you all until next time may god bless you and keep you and may his face shine upon all you do for him in jesus name i love you and bye-bye